Here's what I want to show you guys. This is a little thermal spot camera. See my door is reading 30 degrees. We're about four feet off the ground and a foot back. Now here's uh, the outer wall of the barn at one foot. See, it's pretty chilly out here this morning. inside the building. This is uh, my pole barn door. It's uh, 10 feet high and 12 feet wide. And this is the problem. Okay, we're going to measure about the same height, same distance. This is the insulated panel. 54 degrees. Here's the steel style. 49 degrees. And we're here another panel. 53 degrees. Now for kicks and giggles, this is an interior wall. You can see the mechanical thermometer there. And we're going to give it a spot read right there. 60 degrees. About 4 degrees difference. I can live with that. This is an interior wall. So both sides are exposed to the temperature in the building. This is my workshop. And I keep it about 60 degrees when I'm out here. It's a pretty good temperature to work. So you can see the problem is we're dealing with a lot of energy loss. Well, there you go. And that's what that's about $250 worth of supplies. I have uh, 11 cans of this expanding foam. I have a piece of aluminum strip. I have four sheets of two inch foam. And not quite enough of this two and a quarter inch square. Uh, but the door foam itself foam. has got an inch and a half foam panels, which work reasonably well, but they're marginal as far as I'm concerned. So assuming uh, the, that they're rated at uh, maybe five to seven R value, I think once I get all the styles and rails, the steel styles and rails of this door insulated, and get the edges better sealed so we get less air intrusion. Um, we're going to bump this door up to at least an R15. So here's what we have. All the rollers have been checked. All the hinges have been checked. Everything has been lubricated with a nice quality lithium grease. They should serve very well. I should not have any issues with okay, this. Okay, I've whatsoever. established some dimensional lines. I have 144 inch wide door. I have 24 inches per panel overall dimension, an inside dimension of 23 and a half, give or take a quarter inch. Um, center line established. I've confirmed that the door is square in place and they did a good job installing it. So I have no issues whatsoever. The next step is I'm going to be installing some vertical styles. The purpose of the styles is because I want to mark, mount a marker board to the door once it's assembled. So the, uh, the door will function not just as a door but also a place to write notes such as the stuff I was working on with one of my kids. Um, they're handy to have. I try to get them as many places as I can. So that's the plan. Okay, here's what we got done. I have got the vertical strapping that are designed to mount a marker board or a chalkboard or something like that to the door. They're two foot long and they're exactly spaced so that once the foam is installed and I'm ready to uh, install the marker board or chalkboard or whatever it is I'm going to do. I have my datum lines established. They're exactly 24 inch on center. They're quarter inch aluminum strap and they are inch and a half wide. They're held in place right now with a construction adhesive just to stabilize them. Once the foam boards are installed and the foam's injected, they'll be well established and stable more than adequate to carry the load that I'll be carrying on it, such as a marker board or something. Anyway, they're in. They're ready to go. And I'm pretty happy with the progress so far.
What we have here is we're using the urethane, the expanding polyurethane foam as a bonding agent, but also a filling agent. I've got a, a bead run along the bottom, up the first uh, style, and across. And I'm going to be putting a lot more on, but this is all I need right now for this first panel. It's already been cut and fit. Now it's a function of getting it right. Make a note that uh, I did a relief cut that coincides with that roller right down there. So we'll do the same basic thing. We're going to set it up, we're going to foam it up, and then we're going to clamp it. There it is. We have uh, 12 feet of 2 inch foam and it's bonding to the stiles and the bottom rail of the door. And there's a gap right here that I anticipated. And I have some foam in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it is in there. And I'm going to add a little bit more. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to blow out. These are more like a, just a standoff so that as it expands, it'll stabilize that void. So later on I can come back and add some more to it without worrying about it blowing out on me.
Just a little bit. There's plenty of room for expansion in there. So it's not going to be so much that it's going to try to push that panel out, I hope. Now once it's set, I'm going to come back in here and uh, fill that void up, let her flare out, and fill that gap between those two panels right there. And then I'll slice it down with a really, really sharp knife. It'll get a coat of paint, and we'll go on to the next panel after we evaluate how well it's working. But that's pretty much going the way I expected it to. These uh, wooden clamps are clamped to the floor. They press in here. I'm going to put a couple of little spacers in here because that's flaring out a little bit. But they're held up tight against the style right here, as you can see. And then, of course, they're anchored to the, uh, the hinge. So there you go. That's the first panel. Should work pretty well. The next clamping operation is going to be just an extension of what you're seeing here. I'll clamp here and here as I build up this next panel. But you'll see. Now once the, the panels are solidly in place, I'm going to finish them and add, put several coats of a good quality, uh, well I use probably latex kills. That's a pretty good paint. It should stick to the styrofoam pretty well. I've tested it on some and don't see any issues. The only thing I worry about is if we get flare out and this foam as it expands causes this, this urethane, or this styrene. We'll let this set overnight though to make sure that, that urethane is, is fully cured. I don't want anything to disturb the but bond. That's one and uh, well that's three quarters of a sheet of urethane per panel. So if everything goes as expected, I'll have enough to do the whole door without any issues as long as I don't make some dumb mistake. And very shortly, I will have a fully insulated garage door that will look just absolutely stunning. And uh, I still have to address how I'm going to get this, this seal up here in the, uh, the corner because of the curve of that track. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do yet, but it'll come to me as I get there. Anyway, there it is, guys. It's a start. My first project, my first YouTube video. Um, tips, suggestions, ideas, comments, good, bad, or otherwise. I'm always open for it. Um, and if you like what I've done here, subscribe because i got a lot of interesting projects now that I'm finishing up this barn. Everything from machine tools to automobiles and maybe an airplane. Are you videotaping still? We're good? No, don't put your fingers in front of it, honey. Alright, hit stop. Alright, hit stop.